Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a huge weekend of footy. It's here. It's magic round. No cancellation this year. In 2019 we were treated to an absolute special of rugby league where all eight games were played at Suncorp Stadium. We've seen over the years the double header and it's something great. It's a shame they've removed the double header for the most part. We've got a few games during the pandemic but I'm so pumped up for this. There are some really good quality games to look forward to. I haven't had a great look at the round 10 squad um, I do know that Adam Reynolds is apparently back and Josh Hodson is in jersey number 14. I personally don't know who Parramatta Eels 6 is either, but let's get straight into this. This is my NRL Round 10 tips as well as my first look at the squad announcements for this week's Magic Round. So yes guys, let's get straight into it. The first game sees the West Tigers up against the Newcastle Knights. Now, the Knights, a team that I expect a lot more from this year, uh, they're really struggling. They need to win this game. It's a, it's a must-win game, for my opinion, if the Knights are to play finals footy. They must beat the Tigers on Thursday night. So Friday night at 6 p.m. at Suncorp. Um, obviously still the injury of, of Mitchell Pearce big out there. Um, as for the Tigers, it looks like Adam Dewey moves to the centres and Moses Dembai to the six. Don't know what I think of this. Um, there's been a lot of talk in the media about the West Tigers being removed as a club. Um, obviously two farewells for Tommy Radonigas and two losses and I think that will really fire this West Tigers team up. I think James Tamo is going to stand up as a captain. And I think they're going to be in for a bit of a big game here. Um, as for Newcastle, they came back to beat the Raiders. Fantastic win. They'll take a lot of confidence out of that. They were also slaughtered by an understrength Roosters side, 38 points to four. So I just can't get a read on the Knights. Both of these teams, it's for me kind of a nothing game. Uh, Zach Cheney is out for the Tigers. Obviously, I mentioned that Tommy Talao is back and David Nofaluma on that other wing with Joey Leilua and Adam Dewey in the centres for this game. And as you can probably tell, I'm going to go with the Tigers here. I think the Tigers will cause an upset to begin Magic Round. I think all this talk um, about the Tigers, and especially in their mindset, we weren't able to win these games. The Tigers beat the Knights at Newcastle, and I think they'll do it again. It was uh, Mitchell Pearce's 300th game, so uh, they like to cause a bit of an upset. Um, Jacob Little wins back the starting dummy half with Jake Simkin dropping to an extended bench. Uh, back rower Sean Bloor and halfback John, Jock Madden have been named uh, on the interchange, which puts Stefano on the reserves. So, yeah, I'm going to go the Tigers here, and I think they will win quite well. I think the Knights will be a little bit off um, in this game. And I'm going to take the West Tigers to defeat Newcastle, 22 points to 10. And I reckon Tommy Talao as an anytime try scorer is my pick. The next game sees the Manly Sea Eagles up against the Brisbane Broncos. Now, I have mentioned a lot the Brisbane Broncos, they're definitely a different team at home. Uh, they're at home for this game. They're technically not the home team, but as we know, Brisbane Broncos, Suncorp, all these games being played at their home ground. They couldn't get the job done, but I thought they were definitely the better team against the North Queensland Cowboys in a, a fantastic Queensland derby on Saturday night. Obviously, Manly, um, down at halftime against the Warriors, very resilient in that second half, but then their defence started to let them down, and the Warriors were back in the game, and a try saver from Jason Saab on Kem Marlow for that one got the Warriors the W in the end. Um, it's a very tough game to pick. I don't think either of these teams, or, or Manly, a lot of people will be picking, will blow Brisbane out of the water here. We saw them compete with the likes of Penrith, so um, I, I expect Brisbane to, to turn up and play some good footy here. Um, I don't think there'll be too many points in the game as well. If there's going to be points, so it's going to come from Manly, and, and that's why I'm going to tip Manly Seagulls here. They're sitting in ninth position. They're fighting to make the top eight now. They're actually knocking on the door, so I think they'll beat Brisbane. I think they'll beat Brisbane by 12. I'll be supporting the Broncos for my uh, vlogs, so I'll be vlogging this game on Friday night at 8 o'clock. But I feel like Manly will be a little bit too good for the Brisbane Broncos. And I'm going to take Hamelu Olikalatu uh, as an anytime try scorer in this game. And just to add to that, I think the score will be 28 points to 16 
in favour of the Sea Eagles. Game says the Canterbury Bankstown Bulldogs up against the Canberra Raiders. And you guys know that I like supporting the Canberra Raiders uh, for vlogs. But getting behind the Bulldogs here, um, you'll find out whether I tip them. Let's have a look at their lineup. Jake Avrilo in the seven, Brandon Wakeham in the six, Kyle Flanagan has been dropped for this one. Uh, up against Jack Whiten and George Williams. Raiders uh, obviously have been a little bit disappointing the last few weeks. They're close to the bottom four sides. They're also paying, I don't think they'll do it, but they're paying $67 to currently get the wooden spoon. But I think the Sharks were around the same last week and they uh, last year and they slipped into the eight. So I feel like Canberra probably will be there about later in the year, but they're definitely not making the top four the way that they're playing at the moment. They're in shambles and this is a must-win game for them. Um, as for the Dogs... They weren't great against the Dragons. They scored some points, but really scrappy game from both sides. They kind of kept the Dragons from scoring in the first half, but the Dragons' errors were letting them down. And um, I've seen some good performances from Canterbury this year in games that they have either won or lost. Uh, but obviously that one game against the Sharks, uh, lost to the Cowboys in a close one. Plenty of points against the Storm. But I feel like the Raiders will turn up here, and I, I tipped the Raiders 34 points to 6 last week, so... I'm not going to go with a blowout like that again. But I do think Canberra will win this game 13+. plus. I think they will leak a few points in it, though. So I'm going to go Canberra by 18. And I'm going to go 32 points to 14 in this one. I feel like the Raiders will get back in the winning blocks. I feel like the Bulldogs, they're just struggling and looking for the spoon. And I reckon Nick Kotrick will bag a try in this game. Sees the Cronulla Sharks up against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Now, I'll be at this game, but at half time, and I guess throughout the game, because I won't be too invested on it, um, I will be meeting the fans. So if you want to have a chat and meet up for the vlog of previous vlogs, we, I can include you um, in that for the most part as well. But you've got the Cronulla Sharks up against the South Sydney Rabbitohs. And as I said on the last night, little live chat with Nick from Australia, Trev and Warriors and our old fanatics. It's a really interesting game because Rabbitoh, they're in some good form. No team that has scored, had 50 put on them, has gone on to win the comp. But you got the feeling the Rabbitohs could be a team to break this uh, kind of drought. I don't think it will happen. They lost 50-0 last week. The Sharks lost 48-0. I predicted that their attack has been quite bad and they will be kept scoreless by the likes of the Penrith Panthers. Uh, in this game, I'm going for the Rabbitohs. There's a few ins. Adam Reynolds is in the seven jersey for the Bunnies. Uh, Chad Townsend has been named in the seven for the Sharks. That's an interesting one there. I wasn't sure if he would play. Matt Moylan in jersey number 14. Um, and then that's a really ab about it for the Rabbitohs. So I feel like the Rabbitohs, they're going to be very fired up in this game. I think they're going to come out to Suncorp, Magic Round, and they're going to probably be the highest scoring team of the round. And that's why I'm going to take the Rabbitohs here by 36. I think they'll win this game quite convincingly and show that they're back in a threat and secure a uh, top four position once more. And I think they'll win this game 44 points to 12. Sorry, I said the margin wrong, but the score is 44 points to 12. Originally, I was going to go with 44 to 8. But I feel like the Sharks do have some points in them. There's not too many, though. I expect a big performance from South Sydney. And I reckon that their hooker, Damian Cook, will score at any time. The next game sees the Sydney Roosters up against the North Queensland Cowboys. Now, the Roosters definitely under strength in this one. Uh, Cowboys arguably almost at full strength. Tal Malolo is back in form. We saw the beast unleashed and he was used in the right way in my opinion um, not just the final 10 minutes of the match he was used by Todd Payton and it was great to see him Jake Clifford's playing some really good footy as well um, back in the side so the Cowboys they're paying about five dollars at the moment to win this game and do I think they can win it yes do I think they will win it I don't think so um, I'll be getting behind the Cowboys for this game but I feel like the Roosters will nip it by a penalty goal here. It's funny because their goal kicking hasn't been great. A few questions over Sam Walker. He had an injury at the end of the Eels and Roosters game, but he's been named to play. Tedesco's also been named to play. If Tedesco is out, then get on the Cowboys 100%. They will win this game. But I just think Tedesco will be a little bit too good. But I think it'll come down to a kick to win the game. And I think it will be 26 points to 24. I felt the Roosters' defense will be a little bit off and the Cowboys' attack will be quite red hot. I'm going to take two try scorers because I honestly think that the Fords will come out 
on top in this one. I'm going to take, uh, let's go with Sasia Takiaho off the bench for the Roosters at any time. And I'm going to go with Jordan McLean for the Cowboys. So the Roosters to defeat the Cowboys, I think it's a safe tip. They're a really quality side and got a lot of depth about them, even though this Cowboys side should be in for a big fight here. But I think they'll fall short by two points. Same sees the New Zealand Warriors up against my Parramatta Eels. And my Eels are in some red hot form right now. This is going to be a tough contest. The Warriors have been quite a decent team all year. I believe they're sitting in seventh position. They're currently in the top eight. Um, as for this game, I'm just looking now. It has asterisks relating to uh, COVID saying that the players will have to go protocol by security. So the team could change. But Jacob Arthur, I don't know if he's ready yet for the NRL, but let's give him a shot. I'm um, very excited for this. He's in the half with Mitchell Moses. So the father and son combination comes out for the Eel. Who knows? He could be an absolute revolution. I think Dylan Brown's a great player, but I just don't think he's been up to what he has potentially been over the last couple of years this season. And it's funny because 2019 should have been second year syndrome, but it feels like more third year syndrome. As for the Warriors, they put in a big fight against Manly. Couldn't get the job done in the end. They let the second half just slip away from them. Got a quite a strong side here. Nick Arima, Harris Tavita, uh, Ken Mamalo, two of us to Shek. Uh, ben Murdoch Mosilla is back. That's a huge in for the Warriors. And then you've got uh, Bunty Afoa, Reese Walsh, Jazz Tavaga, Armo off the bench. That's a really good bench. As for our bench, you've got Bryce Cartwright, who's been in some great form and try assist central. You've got Raymond Stone back into the side. That's a fantastic one there. You've got Wonga Blake back in the centres. Be good to see how he goes in this game. It's his first game back, so I won't judge him too much, but uh, I actually expect him to have a big game. So I'm going to take Blake Ferguson here as an anytime try scorer. I think both our wingers might score here in Siva and Ferguson. I had a lean towards the Warriors, but just looking at the, the depth in our squad and the way that we've been playing, I, I can't tip the Warriors here. I do think Parramatta are, are due a loss, so I think in the next couple of weeks I'll probably tip against us, but I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to be at this game as well, so how could I make the trip once again to watch the Eels lose? It will be heartbreak. So I think it'll be a high-scoring game. I think the Eels will let a few points in, but I feel like ultimately Parramatta will be too good here. I'm going to tip Blake Ferguson to score a try, and I'm going to tip the Eels to win over New Zealand, 26 points to 8. The next game sees the Melbourne Storm up against the St. George Illawarra Dragons. Now, the Storm, very different team. This game reminds me of last year when the Storm played the Dragons in the final round, and the Storm were under strength, and the Dragons got them, and that really could happen here. Um, if you got on them at $8, then good on you, because they're into four fifty now, the Dragons. Uh, they're basically full strength for this game. Um, really strong side. Uh, Adam Clune is in, it's saying, uh, by the reserves. Cody Ramsey is also in the reserves for this one. Max Figai and Ravalawa um, in the starting lineup. As for the Storm, huge outs in Brandon Smith, Cameron Munster and Harry Grant. So the likes of, of Dale Finucane, the Bromwich brothers. Um, and Pappenhausen is technically not there. He's in the reserves in jersey number 19. So he could be cleared late to play and... He's a big out for Melbourne, but I'm going to be supporting the Dragons here. There's not going to be a vlog for this game, but I'll be getting behind the Dragons. I think this will be a really good game, if I'm being honest with you. And I think if the Dragons' defence turns up, the, def the same defence that Dragons have, have been good against those uh, those top sides, um, obviously they flog Parramatta, um, I don't think they can win this game. I think I think they can, but I don't think they will. I think they'll fall short ultimately. I think it will be a very close, low-scoring, grind-out game. And I feel like there'll be a field goal here as well. So I'm going to take the Melbourne Storm by seven. I feel like they'll get a bit lucky, and then they'll kick a field goal to get the chocolates in the end from Jerome Hughes. Um, you've got Kenny Bromwich at the nine, so that's a bit of a mess. This team really is... A little bit strange, but there is a lot of quality in the Melbourne Storm and obviously the coaching of, of Craig Bellamy over Anthony Griffin, in my opinion. Um, but the Dragons, they're going to be very fired up. They got a nice win over the Bulldogs in that game. Arguably almost kept them to nil for the most part. 
Uh, but I feel like the Melbourne Storm will come away here. 17 points to 10. I think it'll be the lowest scoring game at Magic Round because both teams uh, won't have too much attack. But the Storm will be too good and they love to play at Sun. Final game for Magic Round sees the Gold Coast Titans up against the Penrith Panthers. Now, if you've been watching this channel since the start of the year, you'll know that my tip for the year uh, for a bit of an upset was the Gold Coast Titans to hand Penrith their first loss in round 10 at Magic Round. Panthers will go undefeated. They'll win the comp still, but in this game, I'm going the Titans. Now, I'm worried because it, like I, I have to go off what I've said. If I'm being realistic and I hadn't said that, I'd probably say the Panthers win this by about 8 to 10 points. I thought the Titans can compete with them, and in the end, Penrith will be too good. But no, I'm going to stick by my word here because there's been a few upsets that I've leaned towards, I've mentioned, and it's happened, and I felt bad about it. So get on the Titans this week, guys. The Titans, absolute specials against the Penrith Panthers. They haven't been playing amazing footy. They've been great without being great. Um, but the Titans, they have conceded a lot of points in the last couple of weeks, which really worries me. I doubt David Fafita will play in this match, but they've still got fairly strong side. Tyrone Peachy's been in some good form. He's got a big contest uh, containing Isaiah Yo. You've got Mitch Rain, who's been pretty good this year, up against Api Corosau, who's been fantastic. Dylan Edwards and AJ Brimson. There is a lot to look forward to here, guys. Ash Taylor's not in the side. Tanner Boyd retains that jersey number six, and I'm going to tip the Titans here by four, guys. I'm sticking with it. The Titans will hand Penrith their first loss. Penrith, a bit of a wake up, wake up call. Yeah, we're getting wins, but here we go. We've lost the game. Let's get back to it next week and put in a huge performance. I'm not sure if they're at home, but hopefully at home if you're a Penrith supporter. So, yes, I think Penrith, in my opinion, would probably win this game, but I'm sticking with what I originally said. So, Going to take the Titans by four here. Again, I think it'll be fairly low scoring. Um, I think both of these teams, well, the Titans don't have great defense, but the Panthers do. But I think the Titans attack will get in a few tries there. And I think the Titans will win this game 18 points to 14. It'll be a very low scoring contest. Um, I can't see Penrith winning this 40 to 6 or something. If people are tipping that, then they don't know what this Gold Coast team is capable of. Um, as for try scorers, I'm just going to go with Philip Sammy. Philip Sammy on the wing for the Gold Coast Titans, and I'd probably go with. Uh, I'd probably lean towards. You got me. Uh, we'll go with Charlie Staines. Charlie Staines, the the number two and the number five for the Titans. So those are my tips, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I can't wait to attend Magic Round. Make sure you message me on the Instagram. Subscribe to the channel. Let me know which game you're most looking forward to. Let me know which game day vlog you're looking forward to because there's a few teams I've never supported that I'm supporting here. So I think it'd be great fun. Go the Eels. Another win on the board, hopefully, for this one. Good luck to all your team. Thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you guys.